Hello boys and girls, uh, today we're going to solve logic problem. Let's check our logic, how we solve those type of problems. And it's not hard problem, but very interesting. So let's start. So we have eight coins. So five, six, seven, and eight okay so what we want one of them is bad coin fake coin right so we have a scale scale right pharmaceutical so one that they use in, in pharmacies right So we can measure these coins twice to figure out which coin is fake or bad coin, right? Using, by using scale twice, we can measure these coins twice. And we have to figure in two measurements the fake coin. Take a pass, try to solve it. Okay, so the obvious solution here, right, is to divide this into four, into a group of four, and put four coins on this side, four coins on this side. So if, uh, let's assume fake coin is here, bad coin is in this group, then divide this group into two again, and measure again these two coins, right? So this group we're going to put on the left, my uh, my left, and this group we're going to put on the right, right? But it means that we we have to do it three times, right? Because if fake coin, let's say here, then we have to measure this group, and it will be third measurement. Right? So it's not going to work. Okay? So let's be creative here. Okay? What if we divide this group not into four, group of four, two groups of four, but we're going to take these two apart, and now we have group of six, right? And we're going to measure this group of six. So we're going to put three coins here, three coins here, right? So this is first measurement, okay? Let's say bad coin is on this side, right? On this side. And now we're going to do second measurement, okay? second measurement. Second measurement, but now what we're going to do? We're going to put one coin aside and put one coin here, one coin here. So if bad coin one of them, one of these two, then we found our fake coin in two measurements. If scale is even, it means that this one is fake coin, bad coin. And again, we did two measurements, right? There we go, we found our bad coin using by conducting two measurements. That's it for today. Leave your comments, subscribe, put and give some likes, thumbs up.